guys wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to create and import a Pro Tools template. Uh, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward, but my main points of doing this is uh, speed, efficiency, and accuracy. Those are the main things as an audio engineer that you need. You need to be quick on your feet because as soon as an artist needs something, you need to be on it. So your speed and accuracy is very, very cru uh, crucial when it comes to this. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Uh, so first things first, uh, here's a Pro Tools setup. Um, it's nothing on as a blank session. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create uh, four audio tracks. So actually, my bad. Uh, just do mono, and then I'm gonna do, uh, actually, let me do that, let me do that, four. And then I'm going to do uh, Master Fader. So I'm going to click all of these. I don't feel like going back to Aux. And then I'm going to do a Master Fader. Actually, I'm going to show you another way to do that. So when we actually import it, I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, so let me put this on stereo. Put this on stereo as well. All right, cool. So here's your four Aux. Uh, channels, tracks, and your one master fader. So I'm gonna rename these real quick. Uh, reverb. Uh, I put quarter note delay. I'm gonna do a half note delay. And then I'm gonna do a plate. And then I like to rename my master too, so um, let's just do uh, submaster. I'll just do master. Well, I'm just naming it. So there we go. So there you go. Uh, what I normally do is I. Go ahead and color these, whatever color you normally do. I do for a lot of my effects, I do blue. It's easier for me to remember what's what. So there you go. So what I'm going to do is exit out of this. Command S to save it. Uh, Command Shift W to close it out. I'm going to do a new session. Simple session, very quick. Uh, as I stated before, here's your new session data. Go ahead and click it. So this is, uh, let's name this uh, Pro Tools Import. And there you go. So here it is again. Flip over to the mix window. You know, doesn't really matter. So there you go. I'm gonna create four mono audio channels and we'll just I'm just renaming these on purpose so Vox 1 this is just how I do it it's easier this way 2 3 and 4 there you go so there it is so where I like to place my personal uh, effects and stuff like that is after the audio so it's usually audio effects and then my master fader master bus or whatever it is so in order to import that previous um, session so you hit shift option I on a Mac and then you go to uh, you see how it says choose a file to import session data that's what you want you want to import the data from the previous session uh, session so here's all your session information so I usually hit command a to select all of them or you can select each individual one if you want so uh, command a you place existing playlists so forth and so on I don't really mess with these all this other stuff if I don't need it I'll delete it in the session but I try to keep my stuff pretty simple actually what I was supposed to do is actually create 
these um, put these actually effects on it so it'll actually be on the channel already but it's alright so what I'll do is I'll go reverb let's just say let's just put deverb on it doesn't really matter and then put a delay on it put a delay so we put H delay so we want uh, what is this uh, Quarter note delay, uh, of course, and then I'll just copy and then do half delay, and then I'm gonna put a plate. Uh, let's just put, hmm, let's just put the lexicon on it, it's fine, and then I'll just import a plate. I'll just put a uh, whatever I'm not really doing a session so and then usually my last thing that I'll put on my master fader is uh, where is it sound field and then stereo width what this does is actually it's easier sometimes I go on my laptop and I, I can mix on the road and I don't have my uh, dangerous remote and it's I can't get mono out of it so easy way to go into mono is just put this on your master fader and then you just turn to zero there you go mono so everything is flat so I usually keep it on that just because so there you go so that's a very quick and easy way to create and import a Pro Tools template uh, of course there's no audio on these you don't see anything but if you really wanted to you can you know import and audio as well so for that is shift command I uh, let's go to just at that who cares uh, just make sure I usually double check and then hit it there you go new track then I'll usually there you go when you go to it there's your audio so, it's pretty simple pretty you know forward. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you go to the bottom of the screen and subscribe to this channel. I'll have more tutorials coming up. So until next time, take care.